The Icky Bug Alphabet Book by Jerry Pelota, illustrated by Ralph Macielo. A is for alphabet book. A is also for ant. Ants are hard workers. Ants are able to carry things that are larger and heavier than they are. They always seem to be trying to build something. B is for bumblebee. Because a bumblebee is furry, it is able to stay outside in cooler weather than other types of bees. Bumblebees fly from flower to flower collecting nectar to make honey. C is for cricket. The cricket likes to hide under things. It makes noise, it makes music by rubbing its wings together. Isn't it fun to listen to lots of crickets at night? D is for dragonfly. The dragonfly has four wings. When dragonflies stop flying and take a rest, they are unable to fold their wings back. E is for earwig. No one seems to know how the earwig got its name. It does not crawl into people's ears. It has a pincher at the tail end of its body. I heard differently, so I wouldn't believe that. F is for firefly. Fireflies shine like light bulbs in the dark. When they light up, they can find each other more easily. Fireflies are easy to catch because they fly so slowly. G is for grasshopper. Grasshoppers can jump really well. If you try to catch one, it will usually jump away just as you are about to touch it. H is for horse, horse fly. The green-headed horse fly has pretty eyes, but it has a terrible bite. If one of them lands on you, be careful. Yikes, push it away. <coughs> I is for eel moth. The eel moth has two spots on its lower wings that look like eyes. When birds go near these moths and see the spots, they become startled and fly away. J is for the Japanese beetle. These beetles love to eat flowers. Sometimes they eat so much that they cause lots of damage to plants. K is for katydid. Katydids, like crickets, make noise by rubbing their wings together. The noise they make sounds like their name. Katydid, katydid, katydid. Sometimes they say kitty didn't. Love, have you, had, have you ever seen a katydid? A Katie did. Yes. Are they scary? Yeah. Puppy's being silly. L is for ladybug. The insect is really called a ladybird beetle. They are so round, it is, it is hard to believe that they can fly, but they can. No, the book says that grasshoppers and lady dits are different. Yeah, but it's sort of like a grasshopper. Yes, yes, yeah, Katie did, yes. It looks fatter. M is for monarch. The monarch butterfly is known for migrating. It flies from the northern United States all the way to Mexico. Birds know that monarchs taste awful, so they never go near them. Hmm. So they don't eat it. N is for noceums. Noceums is a word for tiny insects that are almost impossible to see. They are flies that are really called mate. Midges. They can make people miserable because they bite. What about a noceum? Have you ever seen a noceum? Hmm. Yeah. O is for orb weaver. Spiders that make round orb shaped webs are called orb weavers. Many people are frightened by spiders, but most of them will not hurt you. Most of them. They should define which ones. P is for praying mantis. It is called a praying mantis because it looks like it is kneeling and praying. Gardeners and farmers like them because they eat pesty bugs that are harmful to vegetables and other plants. We like we gotta start a praying mantis garden, love. 
Q is for queen bee. In a beehive, there is only one queen bee. She can lay thousands of eggs per day. All of the other bees in the hive take good care of the queen bee. R is for red admiral. This butterfly is not bright red like an apple or a cherry. It is a rusty orange color. Red admirals are very difficult to catch because they fly fast and erratically. S is for scorpion. Scorpions are really scary looking. They have two front pinchers just like lobsters. At the end of, at the end of their tails, they have stingers. Would you like to be stung by a scorpion? What kind of question is that? That's silly. Don't ask children questions. Would you like to be? That's ridiculous. T is for tarantula. The tarantula is a big furry spider. It can grow to be as large as your hand. Tarantulas and scorpions are found in warm climates. U is for unfinished painting. On this page, the illustrator forgot to finish the painting. To finish painting the picture. No kidding. U is for unfinished painting. U is for unicorn. U is for unique. U is for... What other insect? U is for unicorn beetle. Okay, that's better. Now the illustrator has finished the painting. The unicorn beetle has a single horn sticking out of its head. Oh, that's an interesting beetle. V is for velvet mite. These creatures are red and so small that you can hardly see them about. About 30 of them could fit on the fingernail of your thumb. Velvet mite. That was painful. W is for water spider. The spider makes its home underwater. It weaves a special web which allows it to bring air underwater. It catches any things that swim or float by. X is for... X is for the marking on the back of this bug. We could not find a bug whose name began with the letter X. This bug is called a cotton stainer. You're kidding me. These people are authors and they can't find a, a spider with an X. I'm sure in Latin they shall be. Y is for yellow plant bug. This bug is very easy to see because it is a bright color. It has six legs, just six legs, just like all other insects. Z is for zillion of zebra butterflies. Zillions of them flying all at once would be a beautiful sight to see. Now that we have gone through the alphabet on this page, is, on this page are some wicked icky bugs. Although the general public considers every creature in this book a bug, in fact, only the yellow plant bug and the cotton stainer are true bugs. The orb weaver, water spear, and tarantula are spiders. The velvet mite and the scorpion are anarachnids. The rest, including the true bugs, are insects. Every creature in this book a bug, in fact. So then why on earth did you do this?